The wheels are back on La Machina. Hello everybody, I'm Carlos Roberto from 956sports.com. And today we continue our look at top teams from across the Rio Grande Valley with a look at number four. Yeah. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. The Ed Cauchosa Yellow Jackets have dominated 32-4A, winning district titles from 2003 to 2008. But the last two seasons, it's been someone else at the top. This could be the year the Jackets not only win district, but go deep into the playoffs. La Máquina Amaria has 15 starters returning. After finishing the season at 6-2 in district and winning the by district title, they look good for 2011. Well, like I said, uh, we, we finished uh, real strong. Uh, we beat uh, one, of the, one of the top teams in the Valley in Mission Bay at the end, and then we went on, on an upset uh, team from Alice, which was uh, state ranked uh, up in the uh, top 20 in the state of Texas. So it really gave us a lot of confidence that coming back this year and having so many returners, we're going to do a lot better. And uh, we could just tell the way the kids work from day one in the offseason. And I think that's where you win the football game. So we're very optimistic about what this group can accomplish this year. Two players to look out for are All-State defensive end Luis Hernandez and All-State offensive tackle Juan Rodriguez. Those two, combined with a veteran team, make Edgar Chelsea one of the top teams in the Rio Grande Valley. They come in at number four. One more, one more. 